I want to mention at the top of this video that I will be discussing the suicide of actress Peg Entwistle. Please do not watch this video if you find this topic at all triggering. I'll also be including links to helplines in the USA, the UK and Australia in the caption as well as at the end of this video. I do not take this topic at all lightly and I do so with the deepest respects to Peg Entwistle and all those who knew her. Thank you. It's hard to believe that Peg Entwistle only starred in one film during her Hollywood career and yet she's so ingrained in the Hollywood legend. She is, perhaps, most well known for being one of the most famous people to jump to her death from the Hollywood sign in 1932 at the age of 24 years old. Today I would like to remember her for who she was and the actor she was fast becoming. Let's get into it. My name is Cassidy Krigger. I am an actor, writer, and the founder of Hollywoodland Photos. If this is your first time watching one of my reviews, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Instagram. I often post about my favourite stars and the movies that they were in, so I can't wait for you to join me on this journey. Peck Entwistle was born Millicent Lillian Entwistle in 1908 in Wales. And in 1913, a five-year-old Millicent, along with her actor father, Robert Entwistle, immigrated to New York. But by 1922, when she was only 14 years old, young Millicent was made an orphan when her father was killed by a hit-run motorist on Park Avenue. Young Peg must have caught, now Peg, not Millicent, must have caught the acting bug from her father because by the age of 17, she was starring on a Broadway production of Henrik Ibsen's The Wild Duck. This is the exact play that Betty Davis, a very young Betty Davis, saw and told her mother I want to be exactly like Peg Entwistle. Throughout the years of Davis's own wildly successful career, she stated time and time again that she took inspiration to take up acting from Peg Entwistle. Peg worked consistently from 1926 onwards on the stage and was recruited by the New York Theatre Guild. It was official. Broadway loved Peg Entwistle. By the late 1920s, Peg's talent was beginning to catch the attention of the media. And in 1929, she expressed to a reporter, and this is her own words, which I love, she's told a reporter that, I would rather play roles that carry conviction. Maybe it is because they're the easiest and yet the hardest things for me to do. Entwistle decided to try her luck over on the West Coast, and by May 1932, at the height of the Great Depression, she was in Hollywood. She quickly won a role in RKO's 13 Women, which Variety later called one of the first ever female ensemble films. Look who's here, sis. Why, Hazel Cousin. Hello, June. How you been, you old so-and-so? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, it's good to see you. Tell me, do you see any of the old crowd? You know, the dear old campus? No, I don't get around much. I've been taking a motor trip with a friend, and when I saw you were here, I simply had to come in and say hello. That's well. Come on, step into it, honey. We're on next. I'll be right back. 13 Women, which was released a few months after Peg's death, ended up cutting her 15-minute performance down to a 15-second appearance. And after seeing the rushes of her performance, RKO decided not to renew her contract. This devastated Peg, and on the 18th of September, 1932, she left her uncle's house where she'd been staying to head out for, as she told her uncle, a rendezvous with a friend. Two days later, a hiker discovered Peg Entwistle's body on the Hollywood Hills. Peg had climbed to the edge of the Hollywood land sign and jumped to her death. Her body remained unidentified for a couple of days until her uncle pieced together her disappearance with the letter found on the body that was published in the newspaper, which read, I am afraid I am a coward. I am sorry for everything. If I'd done this a long time ago, I would have saved a lot of pain. P. E. Legend has it that the day after her death, a letter arrived at her, at her uncle's house in the Beverly Hills Playhouse, offering her a part in the next play that would have cemented her in Hollywood. Her death brought about much press and scandal. Up until that point, the Hollywood sign was more of a gimmick, a real estate gimmick. But after that, it kind of became a, a warning to all those coming to Hollywood for what that town can do to you if you're not careful. Many people have claimed that Entwistle haunts the Hollywood sign. 
which began in the 1940s, this rumour, when the, Holly, the age of the Hollywood sign mysteriously fell down. And in the 1990s, a couple hiking on the hills claims to have seen a woman dressed in 1930s clothing disappearing in front of their eyes. Today, as a fellow young actor, I mourn the loss of Peg Entwistle and the talent that she had. If this video has at all triggered you, please reach out to a helpline in your country and know that you are never, ever alone. And tomorrow always comes.